they silently slide and slither across the ground, can be hypnotized with a fixed gaze, and change their skin like gloves. Of course, you guessed it, I'm talking about snakes. Some of the most mysterious creatures on the planet, most people try to stay away from them, as these armless and legless reptiles can mortally bite or horrify by completely swallowing small animals before our very eyes. In our modern world, the largest of these slinking, creeping predators are boas and pythons, whose length can reach up to 26 feet. That's 8 meters. These giant reptilians are known for their aggressiveness. In 2008, it was reported that a python swallowed a 54-year-old resident of the Indonesian island of Muna. The giant snake was first spotted with an incredibly swollen belly, and next to it, a pair of empty sandals. When the reptile was finally subdued and killed, the body of the Indonesian was removed from this false womb of death. On the island of Sulawesi, Another such giant predator also swallowed an adult male. It's true these incidents were never officially confirmed, but scientists have confirmed another unbelievable incident. In Florida, a python with a length of just 11 and a half feet or three and a half meters managed to completely cram an entire deer into its belly. Amazingly, the buck weighed 35 pounds or 16 kilograms and the boa just 31 pounds or 14 kilograms. Biologist Ian Bartosek notes that this is a record ratio between the weight of a hunter and its victim. Just how snakes manage to swallow such large creatures, well, we'll talk about that a little later. But first, let's talk about the ancient serpents, which could swallow much, much larger animals than their modern descendants. Deer to them would be little more than a light snack. Scientists believe that some of them preferred dinosaurs for dinner. At least, such a dish was probably part of the diet of a snake called the Sanaje, which lived on the territory of what is now modern India 65 to 70 million years ago. The first remains of a dinosaur caught in the embrace of this snake were found back in 1987. But at the time, it wasn't possible to separate the skeletons from each other. This was accomplished only recently. Sometime after 1987, archaeologists discovered two more skeletons of these devilish snakes located next to their victims, which were found to be, once again, dinosaurs. Scientists have suggested that Sanaje could swallow small dinosaurs weighing up to 50 kilograms, as well as their children and their eggs. It should be noted that this predator snake itself was no serpent King Kong. Sanajay reached a length of only 11 and a half feet, or 3.5 meters, and weighed between 22 to 44 pounds. That's about 10 to 20 kilograms. It's a wonder to imagine what the giant snakes that appeared 60 million years ago could accomplish. By that time, the dinosaurs had become extinct, and according to paleontologists, snakes were able to occupy the vacated natural niche. They got lucky with the temperature. On average, the temperatures in that period rose to a nice, hot 93 to 97 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 34 to 36 degrees Celsius. And the cold-blooded snakes, like all reptiles, are very fond of the heat. As a result, they grew to incredible sizes. For example, the giant snake called Gigantophis, which lived in the middle of what is now modern-day Africa and South Asia, reached a whopping 33 feet, or 10 meters in length, and weighed up to 1,100 pounds. That's about 500 kilograms, or half a metric ton. But none of the ancient giants could compare with another representative of these slithering and fanged reptilian beasts. In a coal mine in Colombia called the Sirajan, archaeologists discovered something from the long-lost world of 58 million years ago. In addition to a tortoise the size of a kitchen table and the largest fossil crocodiles ever found, they also unearthed a skeleton 
of a mega, super, duper, uber snake the size of a large bus. Upon painstakingly recreating the appearance of this bewildering reptile, paleontologists revealed that it reached a length of 50 feet. That's 15 meters. And this king of beasts weighed in at over a ton. This heavyweight was rightfully named by scientists Titanoboa. Such a monstrosity of an animal could easily kill any prey it chose, squeezing it with such an incredible force, more than 400 pounds per square inch or 280 kilograms per square meter, that the victim simply had no chance. Such deadly hugs are approximately equal to being under the pressure of one and a half Brooklyn bridges. It's clear that for such a massive predator, prey in the form of the ancestors of modern gophers and squirrels just really wasn't all that interesting. The huge monster preferred something larger for lunch and, of course, would not refuse a fresh, delectable, and readily available dinosaur. Given the ratio of Titanoboa to Tyrannosaurus rex, for example, the ancient snake could easily have hugged the giant lizard in the tightest of embraces. I would really love to see this fight. And you know what? My bet would be on Titanoboa. T-Rex simply has very little chance of fighting off this 50-foot-long colossus, which could crush the skull of the predatory dinosaur like a nut. If you think otherwise, Write your conjectures and hypotheses in the comments below. But unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for them, these two creatures never did meet. They just missed each other by a few million years. So the greatest possible battle of all time on Earth, alas, never took place. For this reason, Titanoboa had to hunt for different little trifles here and there. For example, the Miratherium or the Baratherium, ancestors of modern elephants. The gray-brown camouflage of Titanoboa helped it merge with the environment, most likely helping the mega snake to catch its quarry. Titanoboa died out long ago, but some believe it may return one day, or something like it. Due to global warming, the temperature on our planet is constantly rising, and this makes it much more comfortable for reptiles. And this second coming of the Titanoboa will not be halted by an excess of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. During the era of the giant snakes, carbon dioxide was already 50% higher than in our modern world. Indeed, researchers believe that the genes of animal inhabitants of the tropics may have already adapted to global warming and even a further increase in temperature. But you and I should not fear the return of Titanoboa just yet. According to scientists, the evolutionary restoration of this king of beasts will take approximately a million years. Researchers have been able to thoroughly analyze modern giant snakes and discover all the terrible little details regarding their meals. Here's how, for example, a boa feasts. After strangling or squeezing the life out of an animal, the snake opens its mouth and begins to swallow the individual. And when a boa opens its mouth, it opens it wide. The lower jaw of a boa is attached at the top by extremely malleable and movable ligaments that can stretch up to 20 inches in diameter. That's roughly half a meter. This is what allows the slithery serpent to shove prey larger than itself down its throat. In order for the boa not to suffocate, it pushes the tip of its trachea, its respiratory tract, out of its mouth and breathes through this organic tube, almost like what a scuba diver uses. After this, this slinky reptile consumes the entire body of its prey, a kind of banquet where the snake amazingly devours the whole organism in one mouthful, as it were. Biologists from Alabama have noted that when pythons digest food, the kidneys, liver, and pancreas of this creepy creature greatly increase in size. Additionally, its heart rate increases 
and its stomach fills with an enormous amount of acid and enzymes. By the way, regarding reptiles in general, they are almost nothing like us humans. For example, their heart isn't attached to their diaphragm and therefore can move freely inside the body. In boa constrictors, their bodies have evolved so as not to suffer damage resulting from their gorging on such large prey. It is not for no reason that many snake species have only one lung and that their brains weigh less than their skulls. Extra innards will only interfere with their gulping down and devouring a giant delicious dinner. Due to this amazing and unique structure of their bodies, snakes are able to swallow not only large ordinary prey, but even larger specimens of their own kind. King snakes, for example, can kill and devour rat snakes, whose bodies are often bigger than theirs by as much as 20%. These cannibal snakes first break the backbone of their brethren, then fold them up like an accordion. This allows the larger reptile to fit in the stomach of the smaller, shorter snake. To achieve such an incredible and gruesome result, these reptilian predators are helped by the presence of the rings that are formed during the enveloping and constricting of their prey. These reptiles squeeze with such force that they can easily stop the blood from circulating in the body of a healthy human being. With their terrifying jaw-dislocating apparatus, modern snakes, in the absence of dinosaurs, can easily swallow the modern-day peers of the ancient giant lizards, that is, crocodiles, alligators, and caimans. Biologists at the University of Alabama in the United States took x-rays of one of these gluttons gobbling up a young alligator. The resulting film shows that over the course of three days, the python digested most of the soft tissues and many of the alligator's bones. Complete dissolution occurred by the seventh day, and the snake's stomach was finally empty. After eating such an enormous meal, the python remains satiated for several weeks, whereupon it then goes back in search of prey once more. And it's even possible that one day, while out on a hunt, the python might even catch itself. Sometimes snakes really do swallow their own tails, and some of these self-cannibals manage to eat over half of their own bodies before they die. Scientists have found that in the heat of the hunt, they often mistake their own tail for the tail of another snake, horribly believing that they have finally caught that tasty prey they were so looking forward to for dinner. The fact is that, sadly, the small reptile brain reacts quite slowly to such events. Due to this slow computational power, the snake simply does not understand in time that it is consuming its own flesh. If all the snakes we've been talking about seem pretty cool to you, then don't forget to note this by giving the video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing. We still have many more meetings to come with a whole variety of different mega super duper beasts of the natural and unnatural world.